This is part three of our message for December 8th, 2013. This is Pastor Dan Dibble at Bethlehem United Methodist Church, Concord, Virginia. We're joining together for the message due to the ice storm that has closed our church for the day. The next thing we want to know in reclaiming the Christmas story is the details of the story. Many of the details of the Christmas story have either been obscured or rearranged for ease of telling. Some of this is not a big deal, and some of it is. Now, we can't cover them all today, but let's just look at two. First, let's look at the wise men. In our paintings, our narratives, our greeting cards, and even our music, we show them coming to the manger. But if we read the scriptures as they are, and not as how they've been rearranged, that little detail just isn't so. Matthew 2 reads, Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So the wise men came from the east, probably uh, Babylon. Now, since they didn't have trains, cars, or airplanes, they must have traveled on foot. And it doesn't say that there were three wise men. It mentions three gifts. But there could have been many wise men. There could have been a whole entourage, upwards of a thousand, complete with donkeys, camels, and uh, luggage carriers, all kinds of people. So they followed the star and found not the baby, but the child in not the manger, but in the house. And when they refused to tell Herod where they had found him, Herod got mad and ordered all the Hebrew boy children to be killed, children under two years old. Why two years? Because when the wise men found the young child, not the baby, in the house, not the manger, he was probably about two years old. And yet according to our modern versions, our rearranged narratives, our greeting cards, our music, there they are, standing right there with the shepherds, Mary and Joseph, looking down on baby Jesus asleep on the hay. But that's not the way it was. Does it matter? Well, yeah, we want to get the details accurate. But then again, no. All we're saying in our rearranged version is that they all came, the shepherds, the wise men, and they all found Christ. What a picture of you and me today. We've all come from different places together for worship. We've all come from different walks of life together to worship. And I wonder, have we all found Christ? But there's another detail that we want to get right. It's the one that is central to the Protestant church. And it's a detail that occurs in the very beginning of the story of the birth of Christ. It's the detail concerning the doctrine, the teaching of the virgin birth. Matthew 1 tells it like this. 
Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, this way. When as his mother Mary was espoused or engaged to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. So that makes it plain. Mary was a virgin. That's a detail that matters a lot. And we dare not change it. But if Mary was a virgin, and we believe she was, and she became pregnant, and we believe she did by the Holy Ghost, exactly how did she become pregnant? Stay with me on this. Hear this if you hear nothing else today, because this can change your life. We began with John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness. Repent! 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 To which I want to answer, Okay! 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 But how do I do it? How do I repent? How do I turn around? How do I change? In part four, we're going to come back to this detail about the virgin birth. Because it holds the answer. Click on part four.